Howdy guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at the measurement rulers for TrueCut RD Works. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise back in the program here. Now we are starting to reach the end of this mini series on the graphical user interface and we've only got a few more videos to cover or a few more elements and then um yeah i will also put relevant links in the description for those that are new so you can follow along so now in today's video we're going to be looking at the measuring rulers which you can find here on the left and right so we've got our horizontal and vertical rulers and over here you can kind of see what's the scale so the moment's in millimeters, so you get an idea of there's 10, 20, 30, 40. So you can kind of work out 120 centimeters by 80 is our design mat area. So now, obviously, you can try scale things uh, according to this. And if you want to set this from millimeters to inches, we can do that by going to our main menu on top, go to config, and then we go to file para settings. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but in any case, then the top uh, bottom right, you guys will notice there we've got the unit type. So now we had to change this to inches, and then I keep an eye on these measurements. If I click OK, we'll say it has just changed to inches. So I'm just going to set mine back to millimeters, and there you go. So now, um, something to also keep in mind, you can view measurements of things here on the bottom as well so if i just select let's say this this uh this word or the text then in the bottom here if i had to zoom in you can see here we've got um one text object unnamed size and then it gives you our x so it's about 54 centimeters in width and about nine centimeters in height so it's also a good way. So instead of now manually moving this one to look um, oh, where does it align, you can simply just select it and then it will tell you the, the measurements there. Kind of, I hope I got my measurements right. Yeah, it does look right. Okay. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, that is it then on the measurement ruler. It's quite a handy visual feature you can use to make sure your design is um, more accurate to the size that you're going for. Otherwise, we had to head here to softwaretraining.co.za. You guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover. And also, you can isolate your search on the top right. If you do not, however, find the videos you're looking for, you can always go here, request a training video. Then we will make that video for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers.